Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to I Got Something to Say. And we have reached, if you can finally believe it, day, what is it, 30 <laughs> of the vlog, which means that I'm going to take about a week off, just chill, you know, I'm trying to uh, up my video skills. Um, just proud of myself that I did 30 vlogs in a row, you know. And the whole reason for me to do this is to keep the message going, you know. Uh, the message is more powerful than the messenger. I truly believe that. I believe that with all my heart. And that whatever message that you have that you want to convey, that you want to express, that's what this social media is about. You know, I, I come to find out that I'm, I didn't, when I started writing, uh, uh, you know, just a few months ago, like, like taking it seriously, seriously. And like I said, I'm not the best writer in the world, but I feel, I feel like I preach and I have the most important and most relevant message in the world, at least to the gay community. And that's unity. That is the issues that, that uh, hinder us from getting the rights that we deserve. Um, anything that stands in the way of the gay community, I feel like I'm gonna, I want to put in, in, I'm gonna put in the public space. If anything gets in the way, just like today, like for example, um, Derek McCoy, right? He is part of the marriage, um, was it the Maryland Marriage Alliance. You know, in, in November, they're going to be voting on the referendum um, for same-sex marriage equality. Now, they've already, they, their law has already passed. It, it, it's done. The governor signed everything. But, but the old boy had enough petitions to uh, petition the state to have a, a vote, a public vote for, of course, uh, a veto. This is our veto referendum. So it's still that out of the woods because um, voters on November, was it November 1st or November 6th? It's in November um, to choose not to enact it in the, the, the law, and it just stays right there. I don't know what the hell happened afterwards, but my thing of it is that you know, um, this dude is spouting out uh, bullshit, um, bringing up questions and concerns that have nothing to do with the bill, trying to rile up um, static and, and, and dismay and discord. So that people who have nothing to do with the bill will will try to vote no on the bill. Like for example, um, you said some of the questions that come up are about that that, that public that the public in Maryland is concerned with is uh, teach children in public schools and how the teaching like what is this when if this passes what is this going to do with children in public schools? Not a fucking thing. It has nothing to do with kids. It has nothing to do with schools. It has to do with marriage equality. It has to do with uh, gay people getting the right um, to marry in their state and getting a license. That's what they have to do with. It has nothing to do with public schools. Well, he brought that bullshit up anyway. So then they have to do with, and then he brought up something talking about, well, what if um, businesses, business owners express their opinion and it would be criminalized and penalized and all that other bullshit. I'm like, we got free speech here. There's no, if your opinion is public or business, it doesn't fucking matter. No one ever puts you in jail for expressing your opinion, although expressing your personal opinion um, in line with your business, with your business or your business sense or whatever, that can cause some major problems for you in, in business-wise. Look at Dan Cassidy spreading his personal belief, even though, even though he, it, it wasn't at his business, but he is the head of C of Chick-fil-A. And he expressed his personal opinion, and you see how much hell he caught. So, I mean, you make the choices. You know, you got the right to do whatever you want, but you make, but you got to understand the consequences that come, or rewards that come, whatever the fuck you want to call it, re result or reaction that comes from whatever you choose. So, you know, bullshit like this, I, I mean, I, I'm dedicated and bringing it to the public eye, to the gay public eye. This is the type of bullshit. Try to confuse, try to confuse the voter. Trying to try to cause this mess before you even reach the trying to before you reach the polls, trying to cause um, you know irrational emotional responses so that people will vote wrong. Which this is a veto, which means we are people who are for marriage equality or against the referendum. See how all this all that crazy confusion and double talk. In other words, we're against the veto in Maryland and for the law being enacted. That's the, that's the bottom line to it. And then we got, um, uh, what's it, Stacey Campbell, Tennessee Senator. He said, he mo I, and, he, and this shit he says, he said in, in January, but even the stupidest shit, it, it lingers. <laughs> he said basically that there's no, that the, that the association between 
um, being bullied in school and gay teen suicide is a myth of the lark. He calls it a lark. And I'm like, what the fuck is a lark? And I mean, I know what a lark is a bird, but I mean, like, a bird is not a myth. What the fuck are you talking about? And then, of course, I did some research, and, and, and it's a mythical, it's an, actually has mythical symbolism in English literature. So it's like a mythical creature in English, in, in, in literature, and in, in reading, and all that. So that was, that's basically what uh, Stacey Camp, uh, Campfield was saying, that it's a myth. It, 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 it's an imagination that there's an association between um, a gay, I mean, bullying and gay teen suicide, when it's total bullshit. And this is the type of fuck, fuck, fuck shit dittery. <laughs> this is the type of bullshit that I want to bring to the public, gay public eye. And, like, this is stupid. You really, do you not, I mean, really, does he really, does he really expect this? I mean, I had to bring that on out. It was really dumb. And he, he got held for it, but then I forgot what magazine or what online media actually brought it back up, so I decided to bring it back up and bring some statistics right from the CDC. I want straight documentation to prove that his bullshit is dumb. If, you, if I go to the CDC, and they have, and, 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 and this is something else too. The CDC has a lot of good statistical information. It doesn't have nothing. It doesn't have everything. Um, it's not just about diseases and infectious diseases. It, it deals with social order and it deals with social. Um, 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 how can I put it? Social uh, uh, things that affect the community. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I don't want to end. Things that affect the community. Actually, like a disease, like bullying. Bullying is a disease, as far as I'm concerned. It's a cancer that needs to be erased, and I'm glad the CDC sees it the same way. So, I mean, for them, for me to bring out that statistical data and just want straight documentation on his ass and put his ass in check, mate mode, that was a good thing. I was like, cool. So now you have to, you who work for the government, the government said, because the CDC is the government, the government said that this shit is there is a connection. So what you say is bullshit. What can I say? So now, um, I, I wrote another article. I don't know if it hit the news wire. But I just wanted to bring out uh, the difference between cyberbullying and um, what I call regular bullying or physical bullying, which is the old-fashioned, I don't care what the fuck, I don't care what the fuck it's called today, I call it gay bashing. That's what I will call it. I will call it the day I die. Whether it, and they say that it's not um, by bullying because it's got to be between two minors. But I don't care. If you're gay and you're being bullied because you're gay, I call it gay bash. Whether it's verbal, physical, or whatever. You're being gay bash. You're being gay. You're being harassed because you're gay. That's gay bashing. Faggot, queer, homo, fuss, back up, fuss, dog, shut up, uh, shirt, flat, lifter, whatever you want to call it, booster, whatever we call it from all different, it's called this thing. Whatever thing, if anybody calls you, you're being gay bash. So, and that, and that doesn't matter if you're 10 years old or if you're 100 years old, you're being gay bad. So, just letting you know. <laughs> so, I, but I, but my article was, which one kills, kills gay youth more effectively, the fastest? Because there's already a correlation between, uh, you know, gay teen, I mean, between bullying and getting a teen suicide. So, which one of these bullying methods kill us all faster? Is it the cyber bullying or is it the standard gay bashing bullying, you know? Is it the bullying that these kids go to school every day, they you got these little cliques, or maybe it's one or two, and they're fucking harassing this, this, this young person every day, and kids have to go to the torment knowing that every day this is what they have to, they have to suffer because they haven't found out how to stand up for themselves and unity within their gay identity yet. So then they, they, are, they, are, they actually have fear of going to school. Is it that that causes suicide? Or is it the fact that now you have cyberbullying and you got these phones and shit, and now they can, cyberbullying can reach you no matter where you are. And you, you can turn off the phone, you can turn off the internet, but you know what? For gay teens and for people who have awkward uh, social, you know, who is uh, socially awkward, the internet and social media is a comfort zone for them. And the place they will go, and so they will not. If they can't be happy and socially accepted in the physical realm, they're going to go to the cyber. They're going to go to the cyber. They're going to go to the internet and try to find. And where they were finding peace, now they got hell because now you don't have just a click. You have thousands bashing the same person because one person will get thousands collective when they're putting the blog up or they're putting the web website up, and they are tormenting that motherfucker going through Facebook, whatever. And, you know, it, it, it's just disgusting, man, and I just get tired of it. 
And again, I, I, I always say myself, I don't give a fuck. And I'm going to be real with you. I don't give a fuck how much you torment me. I, you never going to get me to kill my motherfuckers. So you can call me whatever you want to call me. But I'm too strong for that bullshit. You'll never hear me say I want to die. And I mean, I'm being real. And it's not, you know, not that I'm trying to make myself bigger than whatever. It's just that I understand the secret of getting past all that bullshit. And that is, number one, knowing that people before me died so I can be the person that I, that I can be and be the person I want to be, which is a proud, proud black, gay black man. And there's people who died for me to have that call. So I, it'd be, for me to kill myself, would be for their, it would be their death in vain. That, that's how I look at it. And a whole community, <clears throat> and we have a whole community standing up that stood up for us so that we can do, so we can be who we want to be. And I can't, I can't afford to let those people's death be in vain. Everybody who's been gay bashed, killed on the street, hit with baseball bats, killed even right, even right now, shining their heads uh, in Texas. Those two lesbian, lesbian couple, couple Molly Ogan and Christine Chapa. Those people, the one, the one they found uh, in Texas, who by hasn't been claimed yet. Um, uh, another gay lesbian, a girl in Louisville, Texas, who got who got gay bashed, who let new name was kept out of the paper. The two women in Atlanta, the one who got bashed in the face, I was going to the Phoenix party. All of these people are received the bashing, or been gay bashed, or harassed, or whatever, and killed. And if I kill my, and they live through it, and they live through it, and they die through it, and if I kill myself, that all that would be in vain. Because they, they, they are taking a punishment which is up for all of us. If they do it to one person, they do it to the whole community. That's how I look at it. When they kill that girl in Texas, they did it to, they did it to all of us. They made us one less. They made us, our energy one less. When they hit that man, and in, in, when they hit the gay man in, in Atlanta, the one, that, the one going to the party, they hit all of us in the face. It wasn't just him. He had a whole community in the face. So the way I look at it is that my, I can't lessen the community by killing myself because I've got to come with something stronger, and that, was, that is with knowledge and support. So that's why I come and do all this. I know I'm rambling. I know I'm ranting. But it, it, just, it just saddens me that a gay, they get used can just kill himself so easily, so easily. And I know it's not easy for him. I know I'm just kind of smiling, but it's because it just it feels so easily because because here because that their life has such a purpose. Their life has something much. They can just go hold out and understand that we're here for them. If if, if they just hold out, their life has purpose, and their purpose is to get the next people through the next youth. They just go through the same thing they're going through and bring them through the storm. That's the purpose. So I don't want to I don't I don't want to ram on anymore. I just want to say that um, this is a, obviously a, a subject now that I'm passionate about. So um, just keep your heads up, okay? Keep your heads up, and I'm gonna I'm not I don't care what the fuck anybody gonna say on this one. Keep your fist in the air, your hands up, keep your unity proud, keep yourself, keep your fortitude, keep your strength. Know that we all have strength. And that everything is going to be all right because we're going to get each other through the storm. It's not going to be all right because I said so. It's going to be all right because we're going to get each other through the storm. We're going to be there and we're going to be a community and we're going to show our strength. And that's all I have to say for at least a week. Thank you and I appreciate it. Peace the fuck. And fuck you bullies. Fuck all y'all bullies. Out.